welcome to the stream. Um, playing the original StarCraft, and we're about to launch into the Protoss campaign. Protoss campaign, the fall. The Zerg Overmind has succeeded in invading the Protoss homeworld of Ire and has embedded itself into the crust of the planet. Now, as the agents of the Sinister Overmind spread chaos and destruction across the face of Ire, the stalwart Protoss defenders prepare themselves for this oncoming, yeah, this coming onslaught. Last bit was a little bit butchered, but that's all right. First strike. Entaro Adun, Executor. I am Judicator Aldaris. I have been sent by the Conclave to serve and counsel you. The former Executor, Tassadar, was commanded to halt the Zerg progress in the Terran Sector by burning the infested human worlds. Unfortunately, he disregarded his orders and attempted to destroy the Zerg while sparing the Terrans from the flame. Clearly, Tassadar has failed us. You must not. The Conclave has dictated that our first priority is to strengthen our defenses. You must reinforce our outpost in Antioch and make certain that the province does not fall to the Zerg. Your old comrade, Praetor Phoenix, We'll meet you there, and assist you in this endeavor. Alright, sweet, end of briefing, let's launch into it. Alright. Uh, do do do, okay, nothing on there. So that's just water. All right. Sorry, I didn't. Well, I don't know if I'd be sorry. That's probably what you guys wanted. Ooh, Red Zerg. Um, I was looking at Aldaris, Aldaris in the um, in like the briefing, and I was like, man, it really looks like he's got a mouth. But like, I know he doesn't because Protoss don't have mouths. But it was just really hard to um, see him without the mouth. Did we not get... I don't know, Phoenix is probably in the camp. I think the Zerg base is up there and we see you destroy it. First mission, pretty easy. I don't want Protoss or the Dragoons taking that. Bad Dragoons are, uh, Dragoon AI isn't great. Alright, well. Time to build some probes. Uh, let's get. Ah, uh, I was wrong. It's early. Okay, we'll get weapons. One, two shot the Zerglings if we can. Forty damage? That's outrageous. Yikes, man. Uh, we'll put you guys up there for now. Um, actually, better idea. Put you guys there. Uh, can we get dragoon range? That's unpowered, so we're gonna need. Uh... Are you guys so bad at walking upstairs? I long for combat. Actually, we should have Phoenix up there as well. Command? Immediately. What now 
Nice. Like, he would be, like, a good orc, I would think. Oh, we're supply blocked. Okay, sorry. I thought we had 35 when we did not. How would... <sighs> Alright. How would Dragoon AI is so bad at it, we'll never know. You know what? Fudger, let's put it there. I don't trust him the slightest. Can't be relied on anything. Yeah. All right. We can get four cans, but uh, I'd rather just get more units. See, because they want four cans. Like, how much is it? It's probably like what one fifty. Yeah. So. For one, f ah, I guess her base defense is okay, cause it could take on um, it could one v one any of the gateway units, and win by a comfortable margin. Uh, that being said, though, you can't take it with you. It depends on what it is. Uh, see, cause the thing is, for most players, typically speaking, you don't want to go too hard on um, base defenses, like. Sometimes like they're absolutely essential. Like so, if you do like a fast expansion, then you want to get a like so. For example, for playing Terran, sometimes you do like an early command center, uh, but then you have to get the barracks or so, well, not the barracks, but the bunker, just so you don't die. Cause, so in like uh, base defenses, do have their places in multiplayer, and um, like even in the case of a uh, um. Other places, and even and it also too like sometimes like so if you're playing like Mac, you get like a ton of missile turrets or whatever. Uh, but usually it's better just to do. Uh, what is it better to do? It's better to get just units because that way you, you can defend with units, and then once you defend with the units, you go on attack with them. Whereas like, and the campaign is a bit different because the campaign does a lot of like defense missions, so. What that means is that if you're just standing still in one spot and doing a bunch of defense, then it's less important to um, it's less important to go and attack because you're just defending all the time. So then all of a sudden, static, def static defense has become a lot better because well, they're not you're not going anywhere anyway. So like in like uh, Wings of Liberty, like so the StarCraft Two campaign, there'd be like missions where it's like I'd build like six six to eight bunkers and they just turtle up and it's like yeah no that's like what you need to do so for this mission like having some point cans may not be a bad thing because i mean you do have to destroy the zerg and they're up here but having one or two point cans may not be a bad thing but like it's the first mission so they're not gonna throw anything outrageous at you okay let's see if we can get dragoon range I don't know if he can, but we will find out. I'll just get the gun there. Start getting zealous. I think it'd be good to get dragoons. Well, no, we're gonna need some zealots for the uh, for the zerglings. Absolutely. Armor upgrades finishing us. And then some of you might be wondering too, why did I go for weapon attack first instead of say um any of the other upgrades? It's like, well, you want weapon attack? Because that way Zealots can two shot Zerglings instead of three shots, which is actually a very important interaction. Uh, because you get zealots to deal with the zerglings in the first place, so if they can like two shot them, then instead of three shot, and they're like working at 50% more like more efficiently, right? Uh, and the other thing too is like it just helps. Like yeah, dragoons help like that. 
helps them fight Hydras. I think that that's some, uh... What, did they do full damage against Hydralis? I don't even know. Assuming that they do, that means they four shot them instead of five shot, which is like still less important too. Uh, and they do a little bit better against the other things. That being said, armor is not bad either because it helps the Exiles take a lot more hits from Zerglings, and same thing with Dragoons, they take more hits from Zerglings and the Hydralisks. Um, then it's like, okay, well, would Shales be good because they. How do you. Alright. That must have been a drop. Um, where was I saying that? I was like, well, would shields be good because that, like, helps them... Like, that applies to the buildings and, like, the air units as well. I was like, well... Two things about... Two things about the, um, the shields. A, they're, they're very expensive. It's 200-200, which, like, early game, that's a lot to spend down. Like, 200 gas, like... That's, like, a robo bay or something. Like, that's a lot just to spend on, um, uh, just on an upgrade. The other thing, too, is like, okay, so in the case of, okay, Phoenix is a really bad example. Okay, so in the case of the Zealot, having one shields, will mean is like, okay, he takes, like, that only affects 60 of his HP, whereas having the extra armor, that's going to affect 100 of his HP. So, already, like, so it's like, okay, but the shield can recharge, like, yes, but normally, like, typically speaking, when you get in, like, like, a slug match, it's not like, everyone, like, when it's a pro shield, it's like, get low, it's like, it's not like everyone just takes a time out, it's like, no, there's, like, they fight to the bitter end. Um, so that means it's like, the armor gives them more effective hit points than, like, in a single engagement. So it's like, okay, so that's why our armor's were more worthwhile than the shields. But it's like, well, the shields also go on the building. It's like, well, yeah, but... So if you have your units, fight their units, and all if their units kill your units, then they're just going to move on to the buildings and nothing's going to help. Or, um, like, protect the, your buildings from them. Whereas, um... If your units are stronger, then it's like, well, their their units may not kill your units as easily. So, because once your units die, it's like they're just gonna move on to your buildings. The problem is like, well, what if we get put on cannons? Like, well, that goes into the earlier point of not wanting to do, um, not wanting to go too heavily on stack defenses because, well, cause, so if you follow that first point, it's like, okay, well, then you won't have, uh, so you'll have a lot of put on cannons. Like, yeah, the shields will help. For them, and they have even, um, well, the armor doesn't even help the phone cans, anyways. So it's like, okay, well, then why not just do the. Well, I'll go into that point. So that's why, and then it's like, well, why not do it? Like, so then it's like, okay, uh, what? Oh, there's a lot down here. Uh, why is that going with this? So that's like, so I said, I explain why armor is preferable than shields, and like, weapons, the same things, like, you want your units to be better than their. Like, that helps. War directly then. Um, well, no, because for the armor, I said, say, because pros units typically have more, like, health than they do shields. It's like, okay, well, why would you do, it's like, weapon damage over, like, armor shields? It's like, well, it's kind of the same idea, because if, so if, if a zealot two hits the zergling instead of three hits, he's going to take less damage from the zergling because he just kills it fast, right? So it's like, the same principle applies. It's like, okay, well, um, and in some cases, because I think how they typically do is like a weapon upgrade is like 10% like extra damage and that's actually a lot like 10% that can like that's a big difference in some cases so um so it's like okay that's why you go for weapon over shields and again like weapon armor upgrades so there's they're just 100 100 so it's like okay like that's that's that seems reasonable um anything else I want to bring up uh no I do want a couple more gateways though oh so then it's like okay well why do you, like, why not have a game where, like, you just, like, what's so wrong with stack defense? Because that way, if you have stack defense, they can't kill you. It's like, well, that's not entirely wrong, but the problem is, like, so if I'm playing multiplayer and I see that some guy just has nothing but photon cannons, I don't need to attack him. So, for example, if this was, if this was my base and I got photon cannons, then 
all of this is very protected. So it's like, okay, cool. But that means you've protected this side of the map, but you've protected nothing else. So, for example, like, like this is my base I'm going to attack here. It's like, okay, well, I don't need to attack that. What I'm going to do is, like, I'm going to take this, I'm going to expand to here, expand to here, and expand to here. Like, you just expand over and over again. And what happens is, like, they can't, like, you can't stop them from expanding because all you do, all you have is photon cannons. So then eventually what ends up happening is, like, you, you're on one base, and they're on four bases. So it's like it doesn't even matter if they like they lose like three zealots per one cannon or like they can do really inefficient trades, they'll still come on top because they have like the whole map. I think I'm getting too many dragoons, but that's alright. I got really involved in about going on about the nuances of StarCraft. I'll get another round of dragoons and I'll go or actually I'll go now. Um, we'll hot key you to everything so we don't want you to die. Alright. Sub Kalados, let's go! Alright, let's go, Phoenix. No, they don't quite do full damage. All right, let's do it. We need Phoenix to come in and pick off these priority targets. It's probably where we need, um... Where are you? You're right here. Okay. Uh, scaling has that damage isn't very good, which really bugs me. Okay, well he's going to sound on the drones. That's fine. That doesn't bother me at all. Actually, yeah, we should get him on the get him on the eggs. Perfect. All right, so uh, we crushed him. We got way more than we needed to. Reds are so nice looking, though. Oh man, that's so gorgeous. Mmm, delicious. And that should be most of the Zerg, if not all of it. Executor, as you will, no Executor. Although we too have marched across hundreds of worlds together, I never imagined that we would be fighting on Aya. The Zerg are indeed worthy foes. Yeah, you may say they're worthy. Maybe. Oh yeah, I forgot how good the fanfare was for the Protoss. Dude, you win his pro house and everyone's like, yeah, perfect. So the executor, the following night. Antaro Adun, executor. Your defense of Antioch has restored my faith in the Templar caste. I admit that Tassadar's desertion had shaken my faith. Indeed, Alvarez. I would hope that the Judicator would put more faith in their Templar brethren. Tassadar, where have you Be been? Be silent, Judicator. There is no time to waste, but I have much to tell you. As you know, the Zerg vanished after the fall of the Terran world of Tarsonis. And though the Conclave bid me return home, I was compelled to remain. A powerful psionic call drew my attention to a remote barren world named Char. Apparently, the call was answered by others as well. For upon Char, I encountered those who were once our brethren. The Dark Templar. Consorting with the Fallen Ones is heresy. Enough! Hear me, Executor. 
For I have learned much from the Dark Templar prelate, Zeratul. The Overmind controls its minions through agents called Cerebrates. Strike down the Cerebrates, and the swarms will surely fall. Executor, Tacitar may be right. If you can keep the Cern occupied, my force may be able to penetrate their perimeter and slay the Abomination. I pray we can trust you, Tassadar. Already I can sense the taint of the Fallen One's influence on your mind. You must return to Ayr at once. My concern is for the safety of Ayr, not the judgments of the Conclave. I will return when the time is right. Ha! Huh. How about that? What are we doing? Why is my ejector skin? I didn't really check. Try to Zerg while Phoenix gets in position. Kill the Zerg for server. Phoenix will survive. Okay. What we got? We got some gas. We got some troops. I think this is going to be a good mission. So I think I'll do this mission and then I'll play that out. I think that's where I'm at. We need to expand some more too though. That's probably the most important thing. All right, you have elected yourself for scout duty. You're so slow, though. Oh, cool. There we go. Honor guide you, indeed. These are crazy buggers. Alright, what else do we got up here? Probably nothing right there. If I were to guess. And we'll get like one more probe. Mining minerals, I think that'll be about it. Alright, uh, simulator, pylon. We're gonna need to start getting, we're gonna need to get a gateway to, actually I should have gotten the gateway before the gas. That would have made a lot more sense, I think. Yeah, I don't know what I was saying. Oh, here they come, boys! Yeah, I'll be it for that. Throw it on a gateway. Actually, you can go. You can go scout. That's what we need you to do. We need you to scout. Is this, is this just is this just gonna be a base? All right, let's build a forge. Don't need a shield battery. That's that's for losers. Oh dear. So we need some zealots to clear that out. That much seems apparent. Alright, 
Wow, that shield saved him. Alright, cool, and then we'll get another zealot. A zealot. I feel like I'm a little low on uh on miners. You have not enough minerals. You have not enough minerals. Once you get the zealot, we'll try and clear out this area or that area. And we'll see how well it goes over. I suspect it'll go over fairly well. As I have confidence in my abilities. I long for combat. Are we gonna run out of money? That'd be very sad. Alright, 10 minerals, perfect. Okay, now we'll send a probe over to expand. Yeah, that was pretty lightly guarded, so that was nice. No complaints. I don't need that many guys on gas, too, but that's alright. Here seems fine. All right, back to work. Uh, I also think I should be getting another gateway. It was the range upgrade. All right, and let us get another gateway. So we can start producing on two gateways. These guys will be on guard duty. Yeah, we're out of getting a little on minerals. Up and upgrades will be done soon, and then we get the armor upgrades. Oh, that'd be bad if I cancel it right there and then. That's almost done too. All and curiously, the shields finish for the um, the hit points. Ain't that something? Also, fun factoid: Did you know in StarCraft Two, the Nexus has a thousand shields and a thousand uh, hit hit points? Yeah, they're a little bit stronger, quite a bit stronger, actually. Oh, I didn't realize that was done. Build a pylon up there. Oh, so many minerals, that's so nice. I 
I should almost get a uh, another or have, have a gateway going on over there. Then we can hit from multiple sides at once. Do some devastating deep strikes. I don't think we can really afford the main gateways, though. You have not enough minerals. You have not enough I think also considering I'm doing pro production from like two bases. Or uh, for one base. Those hydras did not do very well. Alright, so in key, sorry, I just like, this is like, I'm like playing Starcraft because I'm just like a macroing. Macroing is like my, um, my thing to think that it's like, it's kind of like my comfort food, if that makes any sense. So like, I start macroing and I just, like, I just like zone out. Zero cares in the world. Also, I'm wondering if I sh should have been doing more stuff. All right, let's see how well this goes. You guys can uh, keep fighting, you know that, right? All right, well, that's going over well, I'm sure. Dang, that's a ton of sunkins. Okay, that's... Okay, well, they're doing alright. I'm not really used to how strong uh, pro students are. I'm so used to playing like just for Zerg. So they're kind of tearing into them, which is like I'm happy about. Don't get me wrong. Uh, we can. F okay. Well, that's not really what I wanted. I think they have this basically in lockdown. Yeah, I just went and killed them. So, okay, we didn't really need that. We can get more pylons, though.
I would guess that's where the uh, Serpent is. I never got shields. Whoops. I would say that is an error on my part. There you go. I will remain behind and observe the effects of our attack. Return to the Citadel. I shall notify you when the brood becomes erratic. Phoenix might be in trouble though, if that, that one Mulus has his way with it. Oh dear me. Sweet, okay, well I'm gonna end the stream here. Thank you all very much for watching. Uh, hopefully it won't be as long before searching some Protoss missions, but uh, life sometimes happens. But until then, have a great evening.